In this video, we're gonna see how to make a let me know style border animation that contains photos and texts. Some of you requested for this video, it's a very cool effect, and this is how to create it. First of all, right click this area here, new, and then click on shape layer. Draw a rectangle shape and then change the fill color to white. Try to recenter it using the align tools, and now go to the effects and presets panel and search for roughen edges. Drag it onto your layer, and in the effect controls, make sure the edge type is set to roughen, set the border value to be about 50 or so, change the scale to 15, and this is where we get that nice glow effect. Now let's add some animation to this effect, keyframe the evolution setting to be 0 at the start, and then go to the end of the timeline and change the value to 10. Also, under evolution options, check cycle evolution and change the random seed to 1. Now, add a white stroke to the shape layer and make the amount 50. Go back to effects and presets and add the posterized time effect. Change the frame rate to 5. And this is how it should look like. Before we add our second shape layer, let's rename this one roughen edges. The second shape layer will work as a matte layer for our image. Select the roughen edges layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and then basically remove the roughen edges and posterize time effects from it. Also click on the stroke setting and set it to none and hit ok. Change its name to matte layer. What you also want to do is scale this layer down a little bit, maybe change it to about 97%. Also add a black fill color to this layer. Now either add a text layer and write in some info for example or add a picture inside this border. For this composition I added an image as an example. At the bottom hit toggle switches slash modes and under track matte select the matte layer we chose. And if we scale this image down it will only be visible around the zone where our matte layer is. And also using this matte layer you can add a zoom in to your photos or videos without them breaching the rough and edges border lines. Now select both the matte layer and the image or text layer if you have a text layer and right click them. Choose pre-compose and now choose the track matte to be the rough and edges layer. Select your rough and edges layer and change the scale to 0. Click on this button that says constraint proportions and keyframe the start position. Go 10 frames forward and change the setting to the right to 10% and this one to 2%. Now go 20 frames forward and change the setting to 100%. And then go 30 frames forward this time and change this setting to 100%. Ease these keyframes in by selecting them and hitting F9 on the keyboard. And the animation might be laggy. This is due to the posterized time effect we just added. So one trick you can do is change the frame rate to 30 and keyframe the start position and then move forward towards where the border is fully visible and change the frame rate back to 5. Like I said, you can fill this border with either photos or text paragraphs as well. You can animate text layers using the typewriter effect like what Let Me Know does in his videos. Here's a video on how to create the effect. So, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.